I think it's fascinating because this life do not represent a certain trendy, fashionable way of living. This is humanity in a way, because you're, you're here framed or surrounded by these wonderful buildings with their character of, of craft and knowledge and stories and all these things. And I think this, this space can accommodate life for the next thousand years. It's very interesting that you, that you see this as a contrast and, and, it, and, and it's much more valuable because it's just right here where the city is very dense and lively and you have all these noises and you can enter this space and something changes dramatically. With a few seconds you are in another space and uh, I think that's, that's what architecture should be about. This has been changed very much from, from what I remember and what, what kind of carries my mind. So one, once a while I think of it this place and I will always keep the, the memory of, of what I felt when I was a kid going here with, with all the... It was a little bit darker, there was more trees, a lot of moss, a lot of uh, humidity, uh, the stones were kind of broken and... Uh, yeah, it was another kind of intense feeling of a gap, mm -hmm. of something that people had forgotten existed, really. So, so, so now it's, it's been open and it still keeps the spirit, I think. That, that, I, was very, I was a little bit afraid of walking in here again because I thought, could, could they keep the spirit of this magic that I felt that I was grown up with? But, but I think it's, it, it works. We had the old um, brick uh, production, Teilgårdstræde. Mm -hmm. That was a, a yard where they produced bricks. So you have a feeling of, of this uh, connectivity, material-wise. I think it's, it's really, you could learn from this spot. Mm -hmm. How should architecture be, be connected? And, and also having a space that is a part of an urban life, but still we don't need to to put it into uh, the middle of everything, but sometimes having these secret places, like, like gaps that present gaps in our daily life or gaps in memory. Mm. I think it, it was really quite sinister, so, uh, because it was open uh, and, and the graveyards, the open graveyards were open. So you could go in and we could even look at the, into the, to the coffins and, uh, and nobody really cared about it. <laughs> Some of the windows in, in the cellar was, was uh, in the basement was open so you could climb down. But still, I think what, what I really remember is more the atmosphere of the buildings, playing together with all their historical layers and, 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 and still very inviting. It offered so much also without having not been planned to. And I think we, we shouldn't over plan and today everything we do is designed and I'm so tired of design. <laughs> I think it's too much. I think we should sometimes just uh, get back and, and just say, well, let's think, they, let things happen. Let, let people take uh, this place and just use it and put some chairs and take them away and don't, don't have all these prepared things for things that we know, but we don't know yet. I think I love p things that is open, that, that really invites things to happen. So what is interesting that when you first are kind of influenced with this uh, awareness, you, you take that with you to the big scale. So it's still there, though it's, it's super uh, expanded but still you have the feeling of the, the layers of the bricks, the, 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 the way the, the, the windows are kind of set with all these layers, uh, with, with the, the, the smooth uh, uh, structures of, of tiles that are handmade around, around the window. So you still have a feeling of, of uh, a careness in, within this big scale, but, but still this big scale represents small pieces that have a kind of scale that, that fits with the human body, which I think also is interesting. That, that how can we do big, big buildings 
that still refers to us as humans. I think that's what life is about, con continuity. It's layers on layers and, and new lives taking part, new lives unfolding and, and I hope it will continue and, and you don't need to change that much, but still this space can take thousands more years, I think. Uh, and, and I think we should, we should think of how we deal with design in, in terms of having these spaces that are not empty, but, but full, full of history, but maybe empty of a lot of uh, annoying noise that we don't need, but maybe spaces that can change with the light, with the weather, with the people. Um, I think this is a space like that.